Hi everyone, we're gonna review a few trades taken on 9th of March 2022 uh, assuming you're a novice trader with a small account and uh, exit strategy 1 in terms of news and volatility we had issue last few days because of geopolitical uh, tensions volatility was high so we couldn't trade um, last few days sometimes at the beginning of New York time New York market opening uh, we had not only geopolitical news but also we had a few releases on Wednesday March 9 and I was waiting for this so the first 30 minute I let this pass and volatility was also high so the first few candles were very wide first 10 minutes and I was expecting the news to pass after 30 minutes of my uh, time opening of New York market and it was going against the major trend at this time when the market opened here it was going to test this level in S&P and Nasdaq and so it was critical level um, that's reason it was struggling to break it and so that is normal that you see it was trying to pass this previous resistance and was struggling and so this was going downtrend and it was in very high risk area and also we were close to the news so we let this pullback complete and reach the end of channel here and it penetrated the channel and it was false breakout and it came back again and you see this in all indices so the release was positive uh, job opening and market went up and volatility was very high as you see in this is 10 second and this is one minute equivalent to one minute chart that you see in point value so in 30 second it jumped so fast around 50 points in nasdaq and it went completely up to the previous high and retesting this just in one minute it went up without significant pullback so volatility was very wide and was not tradable so we let the news pass and volatility uh, settle and it gives the first pullback so uh, in this channel as you see it was going uptrend in this direction and volatility was okay and it was aligned with the previous uptrend all three charts so i took the first trade here and it was not going well because the sellers came back and order flow was confirming the sellers so buyers didn't push this up and i exited here didn't reach the target in the middle so therefore pre-market everything we checked and we knew the news is coming and volatility was also high and during session so let me complete this so in terms of psychology money management everything risk management okay the news passed volatility was high we let it pass and reach a dynamic channel that is suitable with our loss tolerance that defines the stop loss and macro chart pattern was all trendy and the structural chart trendy and momentum okay because we had this range now it was going higher and we expected this one to go higher so momentum was not weakened and the way I saw it it didn't go down here and 
we, we were in the and second wave that was accelerating in terms of momentum so we were in oversold area ready with good risk to reward ratio therefore we get 100 for oversold and risk to reward ratio entry was confirmed no risk management issue and first was on M and Q. Then since this was struggling here and buyers came back again, but the divergence actually was low. So I thought it's, it's breaking here and buyers come back and this shoots up again. Uh, I saw this channel that almost broke this way and uh, it was going to go up and it didn't so I came out break even again this was little gain this was break even so in here we were little past the oh, it was in the middle and but momentum was good so it's kind of break out to the upside and this didn't work so I will fill the excel sheet then the pullback got completed and till here it was down ch channel the buyers came back again divergence of buyers went up this was oversold area the momentum yeah, the speed was very fast so you see in few seconds 10 20 seconds uh, we were going up and then here maybe a little late I could enter here mm, anyway here lead to the exit here um, it, and it was trailing actually and didn't hit the target and so it went up and came back and with little uh, gain I stopped it because the pullback after here it, the volatility became very high this area uh, you see and the divergence of, of the tick was going down so we stop it here and this is how I feel the discipline score for risk to reward ratio and entry which was not very perfect but it was okay so after these three trades the volatility seems very high so this was no here to go and the market pattern in the in this area was not aligned and the trend line broke here so the uh, charts was going uh, showing downtrend after that big pullback volatility was very high so market was going very crazy in few seconds it went from something like 610 to 35 then crashed down many points and this is no go for in terms of volatility and it also shows these charts are not aligned with the structural charts so I stop it here and it's again all because it's, it's trying to test this high in this area of the dynamic resistance the static resistance and was failing and it was showing that it's rejecting um, in this area so and volatility was very high and uh, it tried to catch up again at here but look with what a speed it's going from 70 to 630 so 60 points in 30 second jump so it's impossible to catch something like that so we stop it here because we end up um, going uh, this alignment of these three charts and momentum was okay but this this alignment of the first three charts and very high volatility was reason not to continue
So we recorded our trades in the account statement for the review by the coach. And as you see here, the summary shows kind of break even day with a small profit. 60-63% win, win to loss ratio was good and profit factor 11. So other traders who who were trading the London session, they had uh, very good trades and some posted in social media and you can see yeah, it's very smooth, trendy and nice pullback and plenty of time to catch all of these uh, pullbacks and no surprise. So that's a summary of these trades on 9th of, 9th of March and thank you very much for your attention and have a great day.